that this is all happening here. I don't know. We look back. Cool, eh? Oh, origin. November 8 to December 10. Oh. Did I miss it? Does it play? Damn. I guess I have to catch it next time. This movie, highly recommended. Origin. Alright, and then we go here. Here to stay. Nia doing big things. Big things, Nia. So I don't know if this gallery open. It's not in this gallery. Right here. Gotta go closer because Desmond, if you all don't know who she is, we want to say she's the equivalent of many black people. I always like to do the American relevancy, but to many black people who are still up in resistance to racism. Well, who knew this was all here? Brilliant. And then that same video I just saw out, watched out there. So we can move it along. And it's cool to see it all self contained in one little spot, though. Oh my goodness, I need to get to the near center. Beautiful, beautifully done. I know some of you are watching this going, ah, you know, I already tear this year. But you know, you know how you all know me by now. Over overkill, overdue. My goodness, I've known this man for a hundred years. So 
So to see him there, wow. Carl James, Dr. Dr. Carl James. And one of the things to say, as an ally, Dr. Carl James was one of the people who, as a heterosexual identifying black man, um, joined me in creating the first queer gathering, queer black gathering in the city at Immigrant Women's Health Center on College Street, where we had the Black Youth Hotline, and we were getting a, a, quite a series of calls from black queer folks, like myself, and I was trying to figure out how to launch something, and he and a number of other straight folks had um, pulled together a meeting, and he came, and some folks that called in had come, and some other people in the community, but yeah, he among a number of other straight black allies. So I was wanna interrupt the narrative of just singular homophobia from black people, black communities, and Caribbean peoples as well, right? So Dr. Carl James, there's a little history on him. So that's among many things that should be said. Among much, much more that he does. This is excellent. This is excellent. So here we go. Back up Sonic and the whole thing. This is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. And you know, as I keep saying, marketing, promotion, who knows about this? I didn't know this was here. Why don't I know that this is here? Do black people in the city know that this is here? That's my concern always with these projects is that they're very, ah, the audience keeps being, like my family who lives in the city has no idea about any of this stuff would never be, you know, and it's not because they wouldn't, but they don't know about it. We don't, we haven't figured out the way to get it out to more people in this city, black people, the people who this will matter to, young people. Because my concern always is that there will be a select grouping of black folks who will get to see this. And so it continues to perpetuate this idea of a very narrow. So anyway, maybe I should connect with these folks because I love them and big them up because this is fantastic, you know, and people are just making shit happen, however, with all the drawbacks and all the flaws, but they're making it happen. So big up Nia and all board members and, you know, ED, Alika, and all those folks. And then we gotta add some other voices to make sure it's much more connected. But there's good old Deucin House. And there is, oh my God, we almost have a tear up now. So for years and years, some of what we fought for, there it is so that when black people are talked about, queerness is visible, not erased. And there we are, up in the back top left is myself, my partner at the time, Derek, along with all these folks. There's my binti with our mouth wide open, Faye Dabru on the right, Courtney there, next to Makeda. So to back left, Douglas, Derek, then Makeda, then Courtney, then Faye Diabru in the front. Uh, is it Mimi? And then I can't remember who that is next to her. I think an indigenous woman. And then Mabinti, and then Milagros, and then to the left is Roxanne, and the bottom is Laleti, then probably known as Annette. And in the very far back, I think, I want to say it's Sharon Fernandez in the very far back who's hidden. And there it is, Houston House. 
that was part of Eagle Park. We were gathered there for the International Lesbian and Gay People of Color Conference planning. We were the planning committee. And there was a meeting for us to get that together. Fantastic. Thank you, Nia. And then, it's all places we inhabited. This was Jamaica. And here, I love this. Phenomenal. There's Koba. And Batsy with Lennox Farrell. Sibyls? No, no, that's not Leroy Sibyls. I'm wrong. Well, who is that? That's somebody I should know, and I think I know, but I... Sorry for whoever you are, and sorry, Leroy. I don't think that's you. That's somebody else. Phenomenal. And there's controversial Dudley Laws. It's part of Bad Sea. demo and then flow and then thank you we keep saying the Caribbean it's Trinidad and Tobago thank you even though now the east service the eastern Caribbean who celebrates carnival and have a strong carnival culture well but let's be clear the Trinidadians were there organizing, doing the thing. One of the greatest gifts Trinidad and Tobago has given the world is carnival. Yes, I know Brazil has carnival, and yes, all kinds of people have carnival, but the carnival that dominates the world is the Trinidadian version of carnival. Big up, my Trinity people. Wow, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And there it is, here to stay, here to stay. Here at. And they even have it big up, let's say now, look there. Here in this complex place where the CEO is. Cameron Bailey. With many diverse racialized folks doing their thing in here. Talk about where we've come, how far we've come, and yes, how much further we have to go. And yes, it's not perfect, it's complicated, it's layered, but there's some signs. There's some signs that I thought this could seduce to be um, you know, satisfied because more has to be done. Mm -hmm. 